Welcome back to VQ Intel. Today we're going to be talking about frequency tables, how to draw them, and the data that they represent. Now the thing to remember with frequency tables is you only use them when you analyze a single quantitative variable. And you use them when you have a wide range of values. Now a frequency table is not like a graph. It's kind of a precursor to a histogram, which we're going to be talking about in another video. But it's a way for us to break down numbers that vary quite a bit. So if we take a look here, here we've got this frequency table, and we have these intervals, 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20. And we have these tally marks, so 2 here, 1 here, 4 here, 6 here. And this is the frequency, and the frequency is just the number of tally marks. So what is the variable? Well, it's number of free throws. Now, what is the observational unit? There's actually two possible answers here. One is basket ball players, where these are the number of free throws made or attempted by basketball players in a single game. Or there's another possibility basketball games. These could be the stats for a single player across a season of games. And because the table doesn't say either way, both of these are equally viable options. <clears throat> now, this question, how many times were free throws in double digits? So that means we go from 10 and up. Now this counts 11 to 15. This counts 16 to 20. The problem is 10 is here, and we don't know how many are down here. So all we can say is at least 3. If there's no 10s in here, in this group counted, then all we have are these 3. But if there are, then it's going to be more. Now the other thing we can say is, what if they were all 10s? Then there would be 7. So we'd say at least three, but no more than seven. How many times were three free throws made? Well, we don't know for sure, but we can say no more than six. Because that's how many would be in this category here. So the next one, what is a possible data set that created this table? So now we're going to take this and say, all right, what could have been the data? Now we say what could have been because we don't know, all right, these six numbers from 1 to 5, we don't know what they are. So for example, I could say 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. There's my 6. But you may choose differently. Then the next 6 through 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, like that. Next one, 11 to 15, this could be 15. And then 16 to 20, it could be 17 and 18. That's a possibility. Is that the only way to do it? No, there's a myriad of ways. As long as your numbers fit within each interval, that's a valid data set. This says, below gathered from this class, answering the question, how many birthday cards did you get in your last birthday? So what is the observational unit? So that's going to be students. So we want to create a frequency table. So let's create our intervals first. 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 25. That's as far as we need to go. Now I'm not going to do the tally column because I can just count them right here in front of you. So let's see, how many are there from 1 to 5? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's a frequency of 7. Next one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next one, 11 to 15, that's just 1. Now it's very important, 16 to 20, no numbers show up in that interval. We don't leave it blank. We say that there are zero because we know that. If we left it blank, we say, well, we, we, wouldn't, we don't know. The data set is incomplete. 
data set is not incomplete. It's just there's nothing there. And then finally, there's one number from 21 to 25. And so that's how we draw a frequency table given our data. Now, did it have to use that, that size interval? No. You could have used bigger intervals or you could have used smaller intervals. Now, usually you want between 5 and 10 different intervals. Two more, too many, and you don't say much. Too few, and, well, you're not saying anything either. You want to have meaningful information. So this is saying most of the students in this class got between 1 and 10. That's what that's telling us. Right. Thanks for watching. The links to support the channel are down below. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.